Caravan Guard Insurance. In this video, we speak to six motorhomers and ask them for their top accessories that they simply cannot tow without. Hello, I'm Ryan. And I'm Mel. And we're the Overnighters and our top tips for things to take with us on a motorhome trip are... I'm going to start with collapsible washing up bowl. Really, really handy, really practical. The practical, you don't want to take a great big solid one around with you. So that's my number one. Uh, my number one, because I tend to do more of the cooking, because you're very good at doing the washing up. Uh, I tend to duck out of that. Um, but cooking wise, the, the gas ring, the camping gas ring that goes with our Kadak type thing, but actually that on its own, that thing with just the little ring on top, to have that always handy. So if you go down the beach for the day or you just rock up to the campsite and you just want to quickly put some beans on or quickly put some pasta on, just to have that there, um, for me, it's so quick, it's so portable. So that's... It's the boy scout in you, I think, yeah. still, isn't it? Yeah. Um, my second one would be levelers. Checking your levelers, having really good quality levelers um, because We've been in situations where they're a bit older or a bit cracked. So really good quality, decent levelers, definitely. Yeah, sometimes with those ones that like go up a level and a level and a level. So, yeah, you, so yeah. you can, as you do the wheels, you go, oh, go to number two, go to number three, rather than just the general flat one. Cause yeah. It's a bit scary when you're doing it. Yeah, it's a bit. And also if it's muddy underfoot, they can sort of, the smaller <laughs> ones kind of squelch in, don't they? Yeah. Um, talking of leveling, leveling though, yeah. um, Often they people recommend a spirit level to get that proper level effect because some yeah. people get quite obsessive about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I always say go with the tennis ball. Put a tennis yes. ball on the table when you arrive. If the tennis ball doesn't move, then you're flat. And then you can go and have a game of rounders with it or, uh, or, or, or broken bottles. Patching. Yeah, or whatever. So yeah, it's multi-use tennis ball. Hello there, I'm Sammy Faircloth. I'm a caravan and motorhome journalist. My top two um, motorhome accessories, my favourite accessory that I found this year was uh, a whale portable water pump, which is fantastic for, for filling your um, water tank when you don't have access to taps. Um, my second favourite item would be the um, gripper tracks, which are amazing if you get stuck in mud, which can obviously happen regularly if you've got a heavy motorhome. My name's Andy Harris, I'm from Road Pro, and I'm a keen motorhomer. I've been doing it for about 25 years and I've driven, getting on for 200,000 miles. Now, my recommendations for all motorhomers, camper vanners, and indeed caravanners, well, I've got two recommendations really, things that you must have. Number one, a lithium battery. Number two, Another lithium battery. Why two lithium batteries? Well, if you have two lithium batteries, you can run equipment when you're off grid that you would run normally only if you were on EHU. That's electrical hookup if you're a newbie. Plug it in. Switch it on. Ah, oh, look. Yeah, we have a two kilowatt hairdryer running off two lithium batteries. Oh. I always like to look my best, so it's important to carry a hairdryer. So if you want to go off grid and not be stuck on a boring campsite with loads of other people, then you need not one, but two lithium batteries. Hey, I'm Kat from Wandering Bird. About four years ago, I quit my job as an air traffic controller to tour around Europe. And since then, with the exception of 2020, which we don't talk about, we've been touring pretty much ever since. There are two things that I think are the most essential things that you should have on your van if you're going to be doing a lot of touring, and especially if you want to be staying off grid. The first thing that we wouldn't tour without is a working solar panel. That is absolutely essential to keep your leisure battery topped up, especially if you're not going to be using campsites and electricity all the time. It's absolutely brilliant. And just giving you that extra boost of power on nice sunny days. The second thing that I think is really essential is a proper motorhome sat-nav. We use Google Maps all the time to check things, but you want a proper sat-nav where you can put your height and your width of your vehicle in so that it won't send you down crazy roads that the vehicle won't fit. Hope that helps. Hi there, my name is Marcus Leach and I am a motorhome ambassador at Fort Bailey of Bristol. And I just wanted to share a couple of uh, my must-have uh, gadgets or accessories for when we go away in the motorhome. And the first one, not surprisingly given my love of cycling, is the bike rack. And it's not just for me, it's so we can take my little boy's bike. And we've really enjoyed uh, starting to adventure together both on and off-road. Now he's at the age where we can go off and explore. So that's the first one. 
Um, and I think the second one for us as a family who love food, love cooking, is our Kadak barbecue because it means that we can cook outdoors, we can cook a whole variety of different foods on it. Um, and it enables us when we're in different regions to cook local dishes as well. I mean, it's got different attachments. It's got a paella dish. Um, it's got all sorts of things so that we can have a really nice varied diet when we're on the road and traveling. We're Karina and Jules from the YouTube channel Here We Tow and we've had two motorhomes. So we know a little bit about motorhoming and our two top accessories are number one, the collapse waste pipes. Those are flexible pipes that you can attach with an adapter to your gray waste disposal point on your motorhome. You can then extend them to the length you need. They're perfect on a service pitch or if you're on a site that doesn't have a motorhome service point and you need to reach a drain. And then they, they concertina back up to pack away in a short length and they're ideal, they're lightweight as well. So they're brilliant for the motorhome if you're worried about your payload and they're so practical and easy to keep clean as well. And the se second top accessory that we'd have to uh, have a look at is security. Obviously from our background, security is a massive issue, especially with your prized possession that you may own now. So uh, the steering wheel lock, I would say, is probably one of mine. It's a visual deterrent plus the additional security that it offers to be able to protect your lovely piece of equipment from people that may want to take it from you. So that would be my top accessory. Yeah, and it's important as well if you are looking at a steering wheel lock to look for the sold secure badge on that product because that means it has been tested and they have rated it. So we went sold secure with our steering wheel lock. So those are our two top motorhome accessories. Awesome. So that's it. We hope you found this video useful. For more motorhoming hints and tips, why not head on over to the Caravan Guard website. Thanks for watching.